Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm just Joe, no title. And today we're in Caesarea. And Caesarea is very significant because the first Gentile, his name was Cornelius, receives the Holy Spirit. It's so powerful. How the story goes is Peter is in Joppa and he receives a vision. And in the vision, God sends a sheep down with some wild animals and he tells them to kill and eat. Peter says, no, Lord, nothing defiled and nothing unclean will touch my lips. And God says, what I make clean is clean. And so he does it three times. Peter finally gets the message. At the same time, there's a man Cornelius here in Caesarea. He's a centurion, Roman, and he's a soldier. He loves the God of Israel. He prays diligently. He gives alms to all the poor people. And so an angel of the Lord comes to him and tells him, Cornelius, your prayers have been heard. And so, the angel Lord tells him to send somebody to Joppa to, to get Simon, who is named Peter, and have him come and hear the words that Peter has to say to him. So he sends a couple of his soldiers to go. And so they meet Peter, and Peter goes without doubting, because the Holy Spirit told him to go without doubting, and he does. And so he comes to the home of Cornelius. And Cornelius has his family and friends there. And so they get together and Peter shares with him that God has made all nations clean. And if they fear God and they practice righteousness, and if they believe in him, if they believe in Yeshua, that they will be forgiven and have remission of sins. So brothers and sisters, it's a great moment then. And as he's speaking, the Holy Spirit comes on them. All of them start speaking in tongues. And so Peter says, oh, they have received the Holy Spirit just as we have. Can we deny them water to be baptized? No. And so he orders them to be baptized in the name of Jesus. And they're all baptized. And so brothers and sisters, we all can receive salvation if we believe in Yeshua and practice righteousness and so if you're here today if you're not saved please bow your heads with me repeat after me dear heavenly father i humbly come before your throne a sinner Lord. please forgive me for all the sins i've done even sins i did i didn't know were sins please father help me to renew my mind make proper changes in my life to follow you Lord and please renew my mind completely and take this stony heart out of me and replace it with a pure loving heart Lord. and fill me with your Holy Spirit and write my name in the book of life and seal me for the day of redemption and Father you will always be done not mine and I pray this in the precious name of Yeshua, Jesus. Amen. Amen, brothers and sisters. And so now, brothers and sisters, you got to make those proper changes. Get rid of any evil company that you're in. And start practicing righteousness. And when God feels that you're ready, He will fill you with the Holy Spirit and write your name in the book of life and seal you for the day of redemption. Renew that mind completely and renew that stony heart into a pure loving heart. Amen? Amen.